All right, I'm Tipsy and welcome back to another video. Today we'll just quickly go over how to get the neural sensors, which are used for a lot of different weapons and uh, other stuff that is craftable in the game. All right, so you can basically get neural sensors from two different areas, which is going to be Jupiter as a planet, which is the one you unlock early on, but you can also get it from the Kuva Fortress, so just keep that in mind. But we will primarily be focusing on Jupiter right here. So neural sensors do drop in uh, bundles of one to four, but we will be doing it from a boss fight or a mini boss fight which will help us because both the things you will kill in the boss fight has the chance of actually dropping the new old sensors. So we will be going with the mission the Misto right here. You can do also do all the other missions and of course get neural sensors but I would recommend doing the Misto as it has a fairly high chance of actually dropping a neural sensor. So you basically just want to start up the normal assassination mission right here and when you get into the mission you basically want to run as fast as possible to allow V. You can also destroy containers on the way if you feel like it, but the drop chance of neural sensors is very low from dropping from the containers. So I would recommend just trying to farm a lot V and his pet as they have a higher chance of actually dropping neural sensors. When you make it to a lot V right here, you basically run a run up and try and kill a lot V as fast as possible. When a lot V is dead, you want to kill his pet because that loses shield as it has a shield beforehand. The pet might also, if you don't kill it in time, it might also revive a lot V, then you're just gonna do the same again, kill a lot V and then kill the pet. So as you saw right there, we got a neural sensor drop. So the mission took us in total on a normal uh, frame without any speed modifiers or anything, around two minutes. We also did a little bit of talking in the middle of it, but yeah, around two minutes or so to complete this mission and get a neural sensor. You can also do this mission a lot faster if you have a Titania and a speed build. You can also destroy containers on the way, but I would recommend just going for a light V as he has a higher chance of actually dropping neural sensors. Also a thing to keep in mind is there's this thing called the resource drones in the game you can put on planets. As you see right here, you can get salvage, hexanon, neural sensors and alloy plates. I already have one on the planet right now, which I can claim for 309 alloy plate. But I will recommend deploying an extractor as you see right here. I have a lot of these and just deploying an extractor and let that go. So this is also like just a passive gain of getting maybe neural sensors, hexanon, salvage or alloy plates. So just have those up if you feel like it. So basically how to get the extractors is just go to the marketplace, search for the extractor and you can get the normal version for 50k credits and the upgraded version for 50k credits too. This one is a little bit better and will get more rare resources, but it will also be more expensive to craft. As you can see, it costs Oxium instead of Ferrite. So just keep that in mind, but you will be able to get these from uh, the marketplace right here. And it's an infinite blueprint, so just buy them once and you can always craft them in your foundry. All right, for the results of this, I have actually been running uh, this mission for fi 50 times over um, now. Mostly done on a Titania though, so for speed references, I was able to do this in around 45 to 1 minute every time basically. Uh, the longest I went without getting any neural sensors was an unlucky run of 4 in a row where I didn't get any neural sensors, so it is very required on luck. But you can get between 1 and 4 neural sensors depending on if the pet or uh, a lot V actually drops. So the highest I've seen drop is 4 and the lowest I've seen drop is 1. Uh, but it's very varied uh, if you're getting 1 or 4 or whatever. So just keep that in mind, you might get unlucky for a little bit but it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes to at least get a little bit of neural sensors you need for the weapons or frames you need to craft so it shouldn't be too hard of a farm to do um, but it is required on luck though so keep that in mind all right just for a quick showcase of uh, which weapon we use throughout this um, we use the normal hack which is easily obtained through the marketplace you just search hack and you can buy the blueprint for it the build is also fairly simple like you basically have vigilant armaments which is a mod from earth bounties critical deceleration which you get from oricon vaults chilling reload which you get from nightmare missions i do have a video on this if you want to see that you can check the description for that then we have charge shell point blank and health chamber which are basically emission rewards so this is a fairly simple build for the hack you can probably get this in one day if you actually went and farm for it if you want to max the mod sound for this build you do want to have to have oricon catalyst as you see right here this is just to get the normal capacity up to 60 so you can actually max out the mods so yeah this is basically the build for the weapon to show you how easy it actually is to kill this guy um but yeah also join the discord which will be a link in the description we have a little community crafting in there and feel free to join it and ask any questions um but yeah like the video and everything like that and see you next time. Bye-bye.